I have um, been trying to take it a day at a time and not look too far forward. I think that can sort of pull you down. I think um, trying to sort of take it in bite-sized chunks, not read too much um, on Twitter or social media and try and get out and get some fresh air and exercise does help. During the pandemic, I've adapted to changes to my work and life by firstly having a home office where generally it's quiet and I can concentrate on my work. The most challenging aspect of working remotely at first was learning and working with new software due to the lack of experience. Inevitably issues arose, um, but with the help of teams and the IT department, I have overcome any obstacles quickly. To keep positive during the COVID lockdown, I've been trying to exercise regularly. Been going on a fair few country walks uh, local to my area, and that's been good, really helped getting outside actually. Like most people, I've also been binge watching a lot of kind of box sets. Um, I've also had a few attempts at some DIY home projects to mix success, some epic fails, but it's kept me busy, so that's been good. My positive lockdown experience has been starting a new job that I really enjoy, saving up the deposit for my first house and being able to watch Wednesday lose from the comfort of my own home rather than a freezing cold stadium. I do a lot of running, so that has that is the same helped me mentally, I think, just to try and get a bit of a break from the monotony of, of lockdown, yeah. I motivate myself, I create task lists. I get a real satisfaction of ticking off each job when it's completed. And I did one for charity items. So for any items that I wanted to donate to charity, I made a list and then ticked them off as I put them into a black sack ready for when the charity shops reopened. Obviously, I've been I've been at work most of the time during the pandemic. So, um, you know, even though it's been uh, a lot different at work and a bit more challenging, I suppose, uh, just really coming into work has provided a bit of a distraction from obviously what's going off. So Monday to Friday, I've got, you know, I've got something you know, to get up for and a bit of a routine to get into. So that's kept my mind busy, really. I joined HBD Leeds um, in August 2020. So just as we was coming out of the first lockdown, um, I didn't actually see my team for the first couple of weeks. However, I didn't find it that strange because I'd undertaken some work experience before I joined. Um, so I had actually met the majority of the team. I um, didn't actually find it that hard to, to stay positive in the first two lockdowns. Um, but this one, I think, has been a lot different. I think, um, you know, it's winter and it's, it's not as nice. But I um, have recognised that and as an attempt to become more positive, I decided to give up my negativity for Lent instead of something like chocolate this year. Away from work, I've like a lot of people, I went out and bought a bike. So I've got into cycling uh, and obviously just going on lots of walks in P district countryside. Uh, it just helps to keep myself active and keep my mind busy. For a bit of creativity and to lift my mood, I created a jar of hearts, which contains happy mementos of anything that makes me smile. So, for example, the picture of my grandma and an anecdote about the time she accidentally choked on mouldy lemon cake, which we gave her from Marks and Spencer's. <laughs> I often go to that jar because it just cheers me up when sometimes you do feel a bit low. Generally, I found Henry Boots have been fantastic. When I've had to go into the office because I can't work remotely all the time due to the nature of my job, I feel completely safe with all the safety measures they've put in place and um, it's been a really positive experience. Thank you.